Hi guys, this is Taylor with Topaz Labs and I'm going to be talking about precision contrast today. So before we get started talking about the actual adjustment, let's talk about Topaz Studio just a little bit. So you can use it as a standalone, a host editor for all of your other Topaz plugins, or you can use it as a plugin within Photoshop or Lightroom. I'm going to be using it just as a standalone editor today. So let's get started by opening up some images. You can open multiple images at a time, and you can open RAW, TIFF, PNG, or JPEG. So I'm going to drag in these images right here. And once they get loaded, I'm going to start with this beach image. You can add precision contrast one of two ways. You can click the More button down at the bottom right-hand corner of your toolbar, or you can add it by clicking the Adjustments menu from the top menu bar. So I'm going to get Precision Contrast added to our Adjustment Stack. Adjustment Stack is found on the right-hand side of your screen. You can see it just populated with Precision Contrast. You're going to see eight sliders. The first four are your detail sliders. That's going to affect the contrast of each different detail depending on the contrast. So micro details will be affected by the micro contrast slider, while lower details are only going to be affected by the low contrast slider. It's really nice. It doesn't make the image overpowered. After that, you have your color slider. The um, color slider only affects the micro details, so it's not like a saturation slider. I'll um, demonstrate how the color slider works a little bit later on. And then you have your three lighting sliders, your typical brightness, shadow, and highlight sliders. Okay, and with this one, I'm going to start with an adjustment level preset. I like using adjustment level presets just because it, it kind of gives me an idea um, of what I where my starting point is going to be. And it's just a great way to get some inspiration. So I'm just going to click through these and see how they affect my image and pick one that I like the best. I think I'm going to go with contrast boost. That'll be my starting point. You can see that it already moves the sliders for you, and then you can move them further to tweak it to your image. I always like to play with it a little bit. I'm never usually satisfied just with what an adjustment level preset looks like. I always like to tailor it to each of my images. Let's move it just a little bit more. I really wanted to bring out those details in the water. And then you can see the before and after and see how the adjustment is affecting your image. All right, so pretty happy with that. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, so with this one, I really wanted to bring out all the details in the clouds. So I'm going to really ramp up the micro details just to really bring out all the, the textures that are in the clouds. I like how it's affecting the clouds, but not so much how it's affecting the subject of the picture. So let's add just a little bit of masking. I'm just going to click the integrated masking up at the top and then I'm going to select the brush tool. We're going to zoom in a little bit so we can see this. Our brush um, masking has a cool feature that it is edge aware. So if you keep your edge of whatever you're trying to mask in between the green and red circles, you are going to create this perfect mask and it really doesn't take a lot of work. All right, so I'm just going to start masking out my subject and I'm going to turn down the opacity just a little bit so not quite as strong. And ta-da, here's our before and after. Okay, so then I'm going to show you how to save an effect. So if you click the save effect at the bottom of the screen, it will save it as a global effect and we'll put it over here in the, the left hand column. If you click the adjustment level preset, it will save it to the adjustment level presets and you can combine adjustment level presets. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm just going to name it Taylor's Effect. And now you see it down in the drop down. Another cool feature that you can do is you can copy adjustments from one image to another. So I'm going to copy this adjustment and I'm going to paste it onto this image. I really liked the mood of this image, but I wanted to bring out a little bit more of the details. So the effect that we just made, it's a really good starting point, but let's tweak it just a little bit more. So let's bring down the shadows just a little bit and boost the contrast just a little bit more. 
um, I feel like the highlights a little bit overpowering here so let's bring down the highlights just a little bit so we can really bring out the details here's our before and after all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the adjustment again I'm pretty happy with how it affected the image I think it's a little bit overpowering on the mushrooms so we're just gonna mask out a little bit of this effect again I'm gonna keep my opacity low I don't want to completely mask away this effect and again, just keep your edges in between the brush and it will automatically detect those edges for you. Adjust this just a little bit more. And here's your before and after. Precision contrast is great on underwater images. We're gonna go ahead and paste the same adjustment again and let's really bring out those small details. I don't really like how the clarity looked on the turtle shell, so Again, just going to pop into the masking tab and mask out a little bit of this effect. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I think I'm going to adjust the lighting just, just a little bit more. And there's your before and after. This is the image that I'm going to demonstrate the uh, micro color slider on. So we're going to paste that same adjustment stack. It doesn't boost the entire saturation of the image, but instead just brings it out in small details to make a really interesting effect. And then I am going to really ramp up the color size. You can see even in the water down at the bottom, it really just puts a little pop of color everywhere. Here's our before and after. And then um, once you're ready to save an image, you can click File, Save As, and save your image. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a little bit more about precision contrast. Thanks, guys.